Mr. Vice President, I want the truth. We all want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Try me. Humanity is not alone. Never has been. Not in this galaxy. Not even on this planet. There are countless alien species. But there's one. One that's been here the entire time. The reptilians. They were here long before us. They claim this planet as their own. They're far more powerful than us. The leaders of your institutions, governments, militaries, even some of your heroes. They've been working with them, or worse, replaced by them. We live in a zoo, and we're the livestock. The justice system, democracy. We can't hurt them. You ask me, did I and the other secret keepers, members of Majestic Twelve, those who knew, did we kill people? Did we kill John F. Kennedy? Sadly, yes, a group of secret keepers did that. Did we kill James Forrestal? All of the secret keepers had a hand in that. We killed Bill Cooper, killed Marilyn Monroe, started wars, orchestrated all of them, all for control, all to keep the truth hidden. Did we do that? Yes. I did these things. I know who did it, and I could tell you, Sheehan. Then why don't you? I could describe to you the network of people, the Freemasons, the Skull and Bones, the World Economic Forum, the Bilderberg Group, the royal families, the crime families, the syndicates, the nation states, the religions, yes, even the Vatican. I can show you the web of control, how deep it goes. But you better ask me while I'm still breathing because there are people out there who would kill me for telling you this. Right now. The moment I leave this stand, my life is forfeit. So, take advantage of this opportunity while I'm still alive. Ask your question. You say you did all this for control, to protect us from the truth. But who gave you the right? Who gave you the power to decide that humanity couldn't handle the truth? We gave it to ourselves. We took it because someone had to. We had to. You think you could have handled the truth? You think the world wouldn't tear itself apart if they knew about the reptilians? About the control they have over every aspect of your lives? If people knew they were nothing more than cattle, they'd riot, they'd self-destruct. Everything you value, your democracy, your laws, your freedom, would collapse. And you thought keeping that secret was worth killing Kennedy? Killing Forrestal? Killing every voice that stood against you? Absolutely. We did what we had to. We were protecting humanity, whether you see it that way or not. But now, now, I'm not so sure. With this trial, with you digging into our secrets, you've broken the silence. You've torn the veil, Sheehan. And because of you, it's only a matter of time before both the reptilians and the other aliens reveal themselves. I don't know which side will win, but I do know one thing. You're about to step into a world you can't control. The people deserve the truth. No matter how ugly it is, they deserve to choose for themselves. You have no idea what you're inviting. None. I've told you more than enough to guarantee I won't leave this courtroom alive. But before I go, I'll tell you one last thing. The reptilians, they're watching. And the moment we become a threat, they'll come for us. But they're not the only ones. The others, the ones who stopped them before. They're not here to save us either. You're just caught in the middle of a war that's far older than anything you've ever known. And trust me, we are the casualties. Good luck, Sheehan. You've unleashed a storm. Now let's see if you can survive it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Mary Lou, deep down. Woke up in haze. Living in a daze. Chasing the high. Under the sky. Running through streets. Faces to me, eyes on the prize, never realized. 
He talks to aliens. He talks to God. He talks to the dead. He talks to machines. Addict to this. Moments we miss. Life on the edge. A silent pledge. Lost in the noise. Chasing the joy. Talks to 